I say there's ruins down there of an ancient galaxy-spanning empire, would you think I'm crazy or kind of dashing? You have to hurry. Commander Gall, he rushed off after the Imperials. <laughs> Sniper! Everyone take cover! Return fire! Ivory may be about to blow it wide open. So, if I bring him back in handcuffs, will you pin the little gold star on me? Personally? You know where this tunnel lets out. The other end of the tunnel opens into the maximum security area. There's another way in, the main entrance, but it'll be tough. The fighting around the main entrance is intense, but it's the only way left to reach Commander Gaul. Someone find Senator Grell. Whatever's keeping him, he has to see this. Mafork naho ratiest bi elmu in tisor mahefne. Nebuy labwe tu? Dabwala kula gwala jinad wendweje? Yes, Hala voice is an Eshka. He's also a person. Res is volta akitos me pigs. Mafork naho ratiest bi elmu in tisor mahefne. We'd better send a fleet to Belsavis for them right away. A big fleet. And weapons, armor, supplies. Should I? This. This is incredible. You got an army? Just the two of you? This isn't just an army. The Eshka are finally rejoining the galaxy. Of course. But the Empire won't know what hit them. You better tell us about it. Wait, everyone! There's a message! Something's happened to Father. Master Jedi, Captain Sully. Belsavis Orbital Security. We have a situation in progress. Senator Grell has been abducted. Witnesses report Grell was leaving a meeting when a heavily armed man took him prisoner. Did this man hurt Senator Grell? We don't know, but the kidnapper killed three guards who got between him and his ship. The system's in place to trap escaping vessels. The main tractor beam, our overrides, they've all been sabotaged. We're fixing them now, but without them we can't track the kidnapper's ship. And this is a week-long repair job, at least. I have an exotechnology professor aboard. His help might cut that time down. Perhaps, but I wouldn't rely on a Republic tracking system. Captain, send any readings you gathered in the hangar. Ooh, let me look. Hmm... Oh, Theron, his engine's using a tripartite ionization chamber. What a rascal. A few atmospheric readings, Jedi. Ten minutes to write an algorithm, and we'll plot the kidnapper's trail. I knew I brought you along for a reason. You flatter me, dear Jedi. Not without good reason, of course. I hope you find the Senator safe and sound. We'll double our security measures, Master Jedi. This won't happen again. All right. When Theron finds the kidnapper's ship, I I'm going with you. Prepare yourself, and find a weapon just in case. I'll call you when we arrive. Right. I should try and keep busy till then. Father, please be all right. <laughs> Didn't I kill you? Ha ha ha! me, but we need to have a bastard man. I'll be for the torches, me. Zitnes jiur doriki da shir doriki, fifi patida. Maru jar desh matekis tiki jam. Help me take down Rogan, starting with his bloodhounds here. You've proved there's more to you than the flash of a blaster. I'm listening. Yes, 
Every minute I live, Rogan courts his death. What deal do you offer? If you want my help, you'd better know more than Rogan's favorite beer. Rogan drinks brandy. Luranian. Hey, he's right! With a Shampala lime spritz and not too much ice. Not that you'll ever need to know this. And he has a safe house on Tatooine, along with at least 12 other planets I know of. This vault holds an escape vessel, abandoned here by the race who built this planet. It is the only way off without Republic aid. Let us be partners. Help me launch the craft and defeat this rabble, and together we can reclaim what Rogan stole from me. Enough. The Republic has taken much from me. It's time to hand off the crown. Let me serve you. Together we can destroy Rogan and retake my empire in your name. With your skills and the knowledge of my years, no one will stand against us. You stay on my ship, you do what I tell you, and you don't leave my sight. Exactly the terms I would set. The sun has set on my prime, I see that. It will take more to reclaim my empire than to fool these imbeciles. What would you have me do? You still got any contacts on the outside? Let's get the band back together. Once we're off Belsavis, I can see who's still active. I'll put together a list of all of my and Rogan's former safe houses. He was never one to change a routine once it worked. Ooh, Rogan's gonna wet the bed when he hears this one. I'll call the ship and tell them to grab him. That seems a far safer way to travel than unearthing a wreck that's been on ice for 5,000 years. Major, is that you? We never had a chance. Uh, on Doru, he... lightning. Straight out of his fingertips. Impossible. I can't... I can't move. You have to capture him. You can't let Andoru escape. Only he can prove that Daggerwing is innocent. Andoru won't get away from me, Commander. Thank you. Please, hurry. That didn't sound good. Doesn't matter. Go! Forget about me. Just get Ondoru. What are your final orders? Harlan can take over Daggerwing, and Ondoru can clear their record. I'll gladly die to make that happen. Now go! I'll catch that Sith scum gull. You can count on me. Thank you, Major. Thank you. Good luck. Tell Harlan and the others good luck. Enemy forces spotted. I'm aware, Captain. I thought I might like a closer look this time. Such persistence is worthy of study. 
Come closer, let's have a look. Oh, nothing particularly impressive. You tricked Daggerwing into slaughtering helpless people. You're gonna pay. Fest. <laughs> Quite a trade. A few citizens for the Republic's finest pilots. My masterstroke, perhaps? Hmm. I suppose you must possess some worthwhile bit of savagery to have survived this place. Still, nothing to compare with the treasures that surround us. Deadliest species older than history itself. Killers, unmatched in modern times. Rant all you want, I'm still bringing you in. You're fortunate to be so delusional. You can go to your grave feeling like a hero instead of an idiot. Some room, please, Captain. I'm feeling rather inspired. Uh, let's begin. I hope your masters reward you well for such savage efficiency. The Empire certainly would... Not likely I'm joining your cause at this point. Such a shame. The Sith would have rewarded your skills well had you made wiser affiliations. What now then? Kill me? And parade my corpse as a trophy for your cause. You know, I'm quite a prize. Sweet dreams, my lord. Finally. I thought that guy would never shut up. Major? Major! Form a perimeter! People! Who do you and Gaul were crazy enough to come down here? We thought we'd help, but we found Gaul's body. I guess we were... Whoa, is that... Shock us and tranquilizers, people, now! I already knocked him out for you, Zess. Nothing to worry about. Sith prisoners are always full of surprises. I'll feel better when we've got him locked up. Daggerwing hopped a shuttle to the space station. I'll contact Harlan. Gonna be tough on them, losing Gaul like this. Gaul sacrificed himself to give the Daggers a chance at a clean record. I'm not surprised. Still... Don't think any of them would have wanted to trade their reputations for Gull. Better get this Sith out of here before he wakes up. Been a pleasure working with you, Major. Take care out there. Major, Zess gave us the rundown of what happened down in maximum security. It's not easy to think of Daggerwing without Commander Gall in charge. Big shoes to fill. With Andoru in custody, Daggerwing will get a fresh start. Yeah, we'll finally have a clean reputation. I hope you really made him feel it. That was one of the biggest scraps I've ever been in. I can't even imagine. <laughs> Getting our reputations cleared is huge. But if I'd had the choice, I'd rather have Commander Gaul alive. Your commander wanted it this way, Harlan. It's up to you and Daggerwing to honor that choice and make Gaul proud. I will. The Daggers will fight harder and fly better than ever before. We've got to make up for lost time. Spec Force is lucky to have you, Major. If I can be half as good an officer as you or Commander Gaul, I'll be doing good. Thanks for all the help. I'll see you out in the field. Of course. Who else would come? So my untraceable engine only bought time. That's fair. I'm Stark. I've gained so much from your senator. You kidnapped Grell? Tortured him? Why? Because I was told to. Father, get up! We came to save you! He's not there. He didn't take my questions well. I learned a lot. About an Eshkar horde in a prison. The First Son will want that. Tell me what the First Son's real name is. I'm not good with names, since I lost mine. I was once a great Sith. But I looked into the Abyss. I followed the children. And the first son found out. The scalpel and bright lights took my name. 
Now I serve as Stark. Stop it! Stop talking! You hurt my father. You don't deserve to live. You need to remain calm. Don't tell me to calm down! I was ordered to study you, Jedi. Combat techniques, disposition, history. You're interesting. You're studious, like me. Learning, learning. If I kill you, I might earn my name back. You picked on the wrong people. Father? Father, I can heal you. See? My powers can... can save you. No! Not now! Come on! Father! Don't leave me! Your father is one with the Force now, Nadia. This is a bad dream. Or a test? Some Jedi test? Everything's a test. You! You did this! Something like you shouldn't outlive my father! Take one step toward the dark side and its pull becomes irresistible. You don't understand. If I don't take justice for his death, my people, they'll turn against our family. All father's good work in the Senate. Lost. I won't let that happen. Not for this... thing. Your father stood for cooperation and peace. Would he want you to murder for him? No, but for our family. What do I do? Master, you're sending me away again. He's gone. I let him go. And my family's disgraced. You showed mercy and integrity. Senator Grell would be proud. I wish I could believe that. I'm sorry, Father. We tried. Watch over us. I still need you. You shouldn't stay here any longer. Please. Would you? I can't lift him alone. We have convened to offer the condolences of the Jedi Order on the passing of Senator Tobus Grell. Nadia, your father was a great ally. We hope you'll continue his noble efforts to guide your people into the Republic. I'll try, Master Satil. I don't think anyone will listen to me. The Rift Alliance, the Jedi Council, and myself are all here to help. There is another matter. Senator Grell's will was left in our care. And one portion concerns both of you. The Institute of Xenozoology, if they can display it. But finally, my most important concern. My dear Nadia. She is so gifted. These children of the Emperor are both gifted and trained. Therefore, I ask Nadia be accepted for a Padawan's training, and taught by the Borsenthor of the Jedi Order. We've had time to discuss it, and we consent for Nadia to become your Padawan. An excellent idea. Nadia's strong in the Force, and quick to learn. Really? You'll train me? Nadia, a Padawan begins with a vow to honor her master and the Jedi Code. Oh, then I am... Um promise to follow the Jedi Code and respect my master and listen to her lessons. And I swear to teach you the ways of the Force, protect you from evil, and remind myself that training is eternal. This is everything Father wanted. He'd be so happy. This proves what the Blasted Empire is capable of. The Ashka won't be enough. We need more. Something... extraordinary. 
Every crazy spacer has a story about Voss and those mystics. You want to fight the Empire with legends? Don't dismiss him out of hand. Maybe he's onto something. Rumor says Voss is home to force sensitives called mystics who can heal any injury and see the future counter any plan. It's got to be exaggerated. But if there's any truth to it, these mystics might swing a Republic victory. Hopefully the mystics are willing to discuss an alliance. If you truly believe you must go to Voss, be wary. Those mystics may use the Force, but they don't know our ways. Good luck. Senator Grell's death should not be in vain. Sorry, I'm still... Everything's so hard. I keep thinking Father's gonna walk in and say, Cheer up, Nadia. The sun shines on a smile. Like I was a child. I hated it. Now I just want to hear it again. Would it help if you heard that from me? That's so kind, but it's not the same. I want to stop hurting. I want to be like you. You're so composed. I just imagine anger or sadness becoming a small, gray pebble. Anyone can cope with a pebble. Hmm. I'll give it a try. Maybe as your Padawan, I'll understand better. I do believe I'm really feeling the benefits of some fresh air and exercise. Who would have thought? And your delightful company has been most beneficial. You're most welcome. I've refitted my equipment and streamlined Holiday's programming even further. Hopefully we should be of greater use to you. Besides, I should showcase my best work. Even in the thick of battle, you never know who's watching. <laughs> I'm glad you'll be at your peak. I can't do without you. Political campaigning seating up back home. Malin Fiskin was rivaling me in the polls, but decided what to do. About that evidence, Fiskin took an Imperial bribe. Leaked it through the holonet. Hundreds of Fiskin supporters switched to me. Their votes should put you ahead, correct? Can't celebrate yet. Fiskin's preparing a speech to regain lost ground. Not a very talented speechwriter. He could still turn this around. I could ensure Fiskin's speechwriter has an accident. Non-fatal accident. No accidents. You could address the Balmoran people first, and steal Fiskin's momentum. Public speaking's not my forte. It's easy. Relax, be honest. Let them get to know you. This is me. I'll let you know how it goes. Polling for opposition leader begins soon. Me against Fiskin. Need one last push. Remember Greystar's journals? Managed to decipher more entries from the shorthand. Gave me an idea. Journals say Greystar smuggled out Balmoran refugees to camps off-world. Hundreds in secret. They won't know Balmora's liberated. Did the journals say where they were smuggled to? I've got contact details. Helping these people is a duty, and good publicity. Should sway any undecided voters. I'll contact the refugees' leaders, but I need somewhere safe to meet. I once attended a diplomatic summit in a cavern on Alderaan. It's quiet and secure. Sounds perfect. I'll set it up. I was hoping you'd have time for a quick strategy session. I was running a few scenarios. Repelling a boarding party, what if someone gets captured, stuff like that. I was wondering what your preferred tactics are. Why waste time, Lieutenant? Better to strike to the heart of the matter. There is another scenario I haven't solved yet. Say a soldier found himself... captivated by a superior force. What should he do? Ascertain the intentions of the other party, and adjust his disposition to match. I... You know what? It was pretty disrespectful of me to say that. I'm sorry. I keep forgetting you're a Jedi Master. 
a female Jedi Master, who has thoughts and feelings that have nothing to do with the Force. I thought maybe I felt this way because I was still dealing with Hoth, but Hoth's over and that feeling's still here. I look at you and it's like I can see the places you've been, the mark you've left. I want to know more. It's not right to see a Jedi that way, but I do. Then try closing your eyes. You know how to make a point. I'll be seeing things differently from now on. There's something I think you should know about me. I'd like to know everything about you. I'd better start here then. A few years ago I was captured by the Empire. I was scouting an Altier with my friend Milo and we ran into an Imperial strike team. I woke up in an Imperial cell with a headache. I remember Private Kree saying something about you being captured. Yeah, once he found out he never got tired of needling me about it. When I managed to escape and reach a Republic ship, I realized I'd lost time. Seven days. Whatever happened to me is still a blank. There are Jedi techniques to recall lost or repressed memories. They tried, but all I got was stuff I've tried to forget. Medically, I'm fine, but my commanders don't like it, so I get shuffled around wherever they need an extra blaster. That's why I keep being reassigned. I just thought you should know. I appreciate knowing this. Better you hear it from me than someone else. You know what bothers me most? Milo Pelham, the guy who was with me on Altier, got captured too. But no one ever saw him again. I guess I was the lucky one. I've been thinking. If we take this any further, the Jedi Council's gonna find out. Jedi aren't supposed to get involved, right? Will you get a reprimand? If the Jedi is trustworthy and shows good judgment, the Council tends to be lenient. <laughs> Not a ringing endorsement, but better than I thought. That's what Republic Civis always focus on about the Jedi, being alone. Truth is, I don't know much about the Jedi, but I'd like to. Wherever we go, we know the Force is living and growing all around us. It gives you a great appreciation for life. You sound so... I wish I could see what you see. Don't give up your secrets all at once. I want to find some out for myself. Hello again. It's Bengal Moore. I hope you'll forgive me for sending another message. The Masters say talking about my feelings is good. Whether or not you watch these recordings, making them fills me with peace. I think I prefer talking to you, because you saw me at my worst. You understand better than anyone what I became. I remember the rage I felt when you killed my student, Kalev. Whoever you are, step away from that Padawan. Hmm. You are... Dangerous. Lay down your weapons. I don't want to hurt you. The old order is dead. Long live the new order. He was the only true friend I had back then. I see now that his death was my fault. I led him to the dark side and forced you to kill him. That's a hard thing to live with, but I have to try. I owe you that. What have you got for me? <laughs> Only a few dozen senators have access to those accounts. One of them must be an Imperial spy. A senator can be just as greedy and ruthless as anyone else, T7. This casts a bad light on the entire Senate. Until we know who's responsible, I don't want this to leak out. Old Doc's always been more of a lover than a fighter. But I had to up my game since you came around. It's not easy looking good when you're fighting next to a Jedi. But I figured out the trick. Care to clue me in before our next big battle? Let's just say I'm getting a new nickname. Dr. Knockout. Yep. Next time we're surrounded by the scum of the galaxy, they're gonna be sorry they met me. I don't believe this. We missed the party of the Millennium last night. It's all over the holonet. Music, dancing, attractive people. 
Uh, we could have been a part of it if we hadn't been on the wrong side of the galaxy, saving everyone's lives as usual. Two heroes of the Republic would have been colossal at that shindig. Infinite opportunities for romance. We would have had it made. Just think about how much more colossal we'll be at these parties once the Empire is defeated. We've already earned more admirers than we'll ever have time for. Anything extra is just wasteful. I'm in the prime of my life, and I'm spending it with people who enjoy running around on exploding planets. All I want is to abuse our fame just for one night. Is that so wrong? Your people speaking of the Empire sound like a distorted echo. When I was born, we thought the rest of the galaxy to be mystery and legend. We had been alone for a thousand years. What was it like? I can't even imagine. We were what you made us. In my youth, Jedi were how you threatened errant children. Obey your masters or the Jedi will obliterate you. For thousands of years, we had total control of a hundred star systems. Then the Jedi drove us to the farthest fringe of the galaxy. The Emperor had subjugated thousands of species. Every non-Force user was enslaved. They were safe and served to their own capability. This is hardly worth debating. I gain nothing from understanding how your Republic's fools view the galaxy. I am surprised that once your council finishes its brainwashing, any Jedi has a spine left to oppose the Emperor. Perhaps you are young enough to still cultivate the strength of the Sith. Revan, the Exile, and I were all Jedi trained, and we all resisted the Emperor. What Sith have done so? That was a surprise. In three centuries, I expected to see one test his strength against the Dark Lord. But those strong enough to challenge him are killed young, or co-opted into the Dark Council. Perhaps you are right. Jedi strengths are different, not necessarily lesser. I do not know how more to prepare you to face the Emperor. What has your training been? All I know of Jedi ways is from Revan. Surely they have changed in 300 years. How does someone become the Emperor's Wrath? There has only ever been one. My training as a Sith was not far different than Korriban today. Only my visions set me apart, made them bring me before the Emperor. In his presence, I first saw who he was and what he planned. You still chose to serve him? I chose to live long enough to find one who could defeat him. I thought Revan and the Jedi Exile were my chance. I met Revan. He says you turned against him. I turned to them as my only hope of defeating the Emperor. I was their eyes and ears in the Sith Academy, their most trusted ally. I liked them. I would have served them, but my vision told me they would fail. I cut down the Exile and brought Revan to the Emperor as a gift. Is that what you're planning to do to me? If you are not the one who will stop the Emperor's madness, then I will await the one who will. The only way to live long enough to find the Jedi who would kill the Emperor, to find you, was to convince him to trust me. He took my offering and gave me a place at his side. He gave me immortality. It was a gift, but not without its price. Master Jedi, our downtime has had a positive impact on my battle readiness. I believe I'm 14.2% more prepared for combat now. What? What does that even mean? It's a statistical analysis of, well, I won't bore you with the details. I've had a lot of time to think. I've forgotten what that was like. Relax while you can, Sergeant. There's more fighting ahead. I'm looking forward to it. I've been thinking about my original squad. I haven't seen any of them since we liberated that POW camp. They seem to be on active duty, but I can't find any mention of commendations or recognition. They should be decorated soldiers. I'm sure you'll find something. Carson, Naja, Eckerd. That whole squad has simply vanished. One might almost believe that you considered those soldiers people. They'd be most valuable to the Republic deployed on the front. This just doesn't make sense to me. So, when do I get my own Padawan? Always wanted to be a teacher. It's true. I'm learning all kinds of things from you. Helps that you're an excellent student, but that's not what I mean. Here, pretend you're my Padawan. Got a hypothetical moral dilemma for you. Say you could only save the Republic or the Jedi Order. Which would you choose and why? Don't think. Answer. We're all that prevents the Sith from conquering the galaxy. Without us, there'd be no Republic. Excellent answer, my Padawan. Have a sweet flat cake. See? I'd make a nifty master. Learn from the best, after all. Finally got the skinny on how we become an official Jedi twosome. Short version? Not happening. 
We'd only ever see each other on Tython. Senior council members would review us monthly, make sure we stay... detached. The clincher is, only Jedi who were raised by the Order from birth get permission. I'm automatically disqualified. All we can do is keep our relationship a secret. How much longer can we pull the hood over Master Satil's eyes? The lady's not stupid. The longer we keep things going, the harder they'll be to stop. Not gonna ruin your life, tough guy. You want out of this? Just say so. Don't make me decide everything. This affects both of us. Gonna make me say it, aren't you? Fine. I love you, dummy. Always will. I don't want this to end. There, happy? Just needed to hear you say the words. And I love you too, dummy. That's only funny when I say it. So much for upholding the Jedi Code. Guess we're outlaws. We'll find a way to live with the guilt. Somehow. Won't be easy, but we have to try. And try and try. Nope, still feel guilty. You'll have to try harder next time. Better get back to saving the galaxy. Don't want people to think we've gone soft. Remember I told you about Milo Pelham, who vanished when we were captured by the Empire? After we talked, I put his name out, in case he had a wife or kids he hadn't mentioned. Instead, I found out he was arrested on Tatooine a few weeks ago. He actually made it. I didn't think Tatooine had any laws to break. Milo's being held for destruction of private property. Anchorhead authorities said he's been acting nutty since he was arrested. They had to isolate him. Milo was a rock. Something's wrong. Perhaps he was badly treated when the Empire captured him. I have to see him myself. I can get him out, but there's a hitch. The property Milo destroyed was a starship. Owner's a gangster, and he's a little upset. So the authorities aren't too happy about setting Milo free. He'll have all the protection he needs once we arrive. I wrote up a signed character reference for Milo. Could you sign it too? A Jedi Master's endorsement would really speed things along. It's my duty to help anyone who's been unjustly imprisoned. Thank you. This means a lot. I'll send it to Tatooine, along with Milo's bail. All these years I thought he was dead. What happened to him out there? What are you doing here? Where's Ivory? I just got a call from Commander Skylist. His troops saw an unauthorized ship approaching Vault 806. By the time they got there, the place was empty. I'm taking him off world. He's not your problem anymore. Ivory is a habitual offender, guilty of racketeering, murder, torture, in nearly every Republic protectorate. He's serving a life sentence on Belsavis, and anyone who aids his crime is warranted for arrest as well. Give me one good reason not to cuff you right here. You like it like that, huh? You? I should see you strung up by the neck. I should have you beaten. I should lock you in that cell and cut you down to Sith cubes and water. I should... should... I'm gonna guess this is one fight where you don't want me coming to your rescue. Get in the cell, Captain. You and I have things to discuss. Major, good. I was just reading over my reports from Balsavis. A largely successful operation, with the exception of Commander Gaul. Without Gaul's leadership, Dagger Wing may never reach its previous potential. Why trade him for some crazed Sith Lord? Commander Gaul insisted that I capture Lord Onduro to clear Dagger Wing's record. We could have caught Onduro another time. Rescuing Gaul was much more important. Fortunately, Tobin Harlan has an exceptional combat record of his own. With time, he might lead the Daggers as well as Gold did. Harlan is a good man. He knows what he's doing. Good. Dagger Wing will be in good hands then. Bolstering our space forces was an important first step in our counteroffensive against General Rackton. But more remains to be done. Before you proceed to your next objective, 
I need Havoc to take on a special mission. A prisoner of war rescue operation. Am I after a captured general or something? You will be rescuing 314 men and women of various ranks. The prisoners are being held on A-77, an Imperial detention center built inside the remains of an asteroid mining facility. A special forces operator was recently captured and taken there. Because of her, we learned A-77's location. You've worked with her before, Sergeant Jackson. I can't say I remember her, General. Sergeant Jackson worked with you here on Coruscant, then again on Nar Shada. A bright red case was moved into the Black Sun space under heavy guard. If whatever's inside that case is valuable to Black Sun, it's bad news for us. I'll take it back to headquarters for analysis. Maybe we can find out where Black Sun is getting their weapons. Guess we're through here then. It's been fun, Lieutenant. I hope we get to run together again sometime. This is the message she broadcast from A-77. Calling any Republic vessel or personnel. This is Ava Jaxo, Sergeant, Republic Special Forces. I'm being held in an Imperial prison. I slipped out of my cell and hidden on the system's deck, but there are more than 300 other soldiers being held here. Any rescue teams, call me first. I'll do my best to muck up the security systems for you. Now get me out of here! Just forward the coordinates and I'll move out, General. A-77's coordinates are being forwarded to your Navic computer now. Contact Sergeant Jackson once you're within range and proceed from there. Good luck. I got word from Tatooine. Six holocalls, a few payments to the right people, and Milo's a free man. All I need to do is meet him and his security escort at Anchorhead, but Milo's still in a bad way. We shouldn't keep him waiting. I appreciate it, but I should probably take this one. If Milo's really unstable, too many people might scare him. I'll take a shuttle to Tatooine and see Milo get somewhere safe. Shouldn't risk him hurting himself or blowing up someone else's starship. Thinking he was dead, it was almost easier than this. Milo could know what happened to you when you were captured. It's worth a shot. Don't worry, I'll make sure I'm ready for trouble before I move out. See you soon. This is Station Korriban's flame to unidentified vessel. You have violated Imperial space. Submit your security clearance or be destroyed. Who said I could leave this to you? Go ahead. Transmitting clearance code now. Stand by while I... Um... We're so pleased you're here, Grand Moff. You'll find our security airtight. That is unlikely. I've uh, cleared a docking bay for you. Please proceed with your landing, sir. For the moment, they believe I am Grand Moff Fresh. But this ruse will not hold. Prepare to kill everyone. We'll infiltrate the station quietly. By the time the Imperials realize they've been lied to, we'll have what we need. The docking bay will be swarming with honor guards for the Grand Moff. When you emerge from the ship instead, you'll find them... disappointed. Don't waste any time. Destroy the enemy while we have the elements of surprise. Right on time. You're practically a droid. I knew if I applied the right stimulus, you couldn't resist coming here. Something's wrong with Leha. She's not herself. She tricked me. Jomar was chasing proof you'd fall into the dark side. He fell into my trap like a greedy child. You were just as easy. The Emperor is dominating your mind. Resist him. Please, don't hurt her! She doesn't know what she's doing! Poor boy. You think you love me, but what we shared in secret on Tython was only a shadow of true passion. They obviously weren't doing it right. I'll show you true ecstasy, Jomar. But first things first. I don't want to hurt you. If you care about Jomar, surrender. Surrender is for the weak. Jomar had that option. You don't. You remember the Medes? I gave my little droid friends a few upgrades I think you'll enjoy. Briefly.
are we? Leha, it's me. You're going to be all right. My poor droids. How did we get here? You've been under the Emperor's control. You tortured Jomar and tried to kill me. No. That's not possible. I... No. I can feel the Emperor's presence. I... He hates you. The things he made me do. Come home to Tython. Master Satil will help you. I have no right to ask you for anything, but the Council doesn't need to know about us. Please, keep our relationship to yourself. I don't agree with the Council's ban on Jedi falling in love. Understatement of the Millennium. Thank you. I... I'm sorry for all of this. I was wrong about you. My mission wasn't a total failure. I overheard Liha delivering orders from the Emperor to a high-ranking Sith Lord. I couldn't hear details, but I know someone named Lord Fulminus went on a secret mission to the planet Vos. Just what we needed. Better tell Master Satil. I'll take Liha home. Thank you for saving her. Us. Master Satil, I rescued Jomar and found Liha Narez. She's been under the Emperor's control and needs your help. They're headed for Tython now. I also learned a high-ranking Sith named Fulminus is on the planet Voss. That is disturbing news. Voss was discovered only recently. Its society is dangerously unbalanced. The people worship an elite group of Force users who rule with absolute authority. Despite our best efforts, Voss's government rejects the Jedi Code. The Emperor has always taken a great interest in that world. I thought he sought to conquer it, but clearly he intends its destruction. Go to Voss. Find Lord Fulminus and stop his plans. This is Jomar Chul. I wanted to thank you again for saving Liha, and I appreciate you keeping our relationship to yourself. I'm helping her recover from what happened. It's slow going, but she's making progress. I'm sorry I ever doubted you. I consider you a true friend. Jomar Chul out. I got Milo off Tatooine okay, but heck, I don't even know where to start. Milo was trying to talk to me, but he couldn't get the words out. He kept using other languages, equations even, like his mind was shattered. Regrettably, I have experience in this area. I tried asking him about when we were captured, if he knew anything. If I understood him right, Milo said a doctor came into his cell. She showed him a glowing box. That's when it all went wrong inside his head. Thing is... Milo said this doctor used that box on me, too. I don't like where this is going. And you didn't see Milo. How do you think I feel? So Milo's lady doctor used a glowing box on both of us. I lose seven days of memory, and Milo loses his mind. A glowing box. Maybe a new Imperial torture device. There are ancient relics that fit that description, too. You're the expert, but me and Milo were nobodies. Why use an artifact on us? I think Milo tracked the doctor to Tatooine. He thought the starship he blew up was hers. He gave me a picture, assuming it's actually her, that might give us a lead. I'll see what I can find out. <laughs>